Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our Playwright TypeScript series. In this video, we are going to talk about that how to type the characters in a text field sequentially with a specific delay. For example, if you go to flipkart.com and on the search field, I have to enter some values here. For example, I'm pressing M manually from the keyboard. Then after some wait, I'm putting A. Then again, some wait, then C, then B then O, then O, then K, like that. So if you notice one thing, I'm not entering MacBook immediately. I'm entering with a delay after each and every character. So this kind of scenarios can be handled with Playwright. Same thing we can do with Selenium also with the actions class. We can give a delay also here in the Playwright while writing the values one by one. So these kind of scenarios generally happens where, um, you have to enter the values one by one with the keyboard from the user input sides. You have to enter the value. And then on the basis of that number of suggestions or search results are coming over here like this. So what I'm saying here is that instead of writing MacBook immediately or instantly, you have to give enter the value character by character with a pause like that. And you can it's up to you what kind of pause that you want to give one second or 500 millisecond or uh, whatever, right? So what we have to do here is we are launching this application and then simple one single method that you have to use that page dot. Let's create this particular locator. Let's first, let's see what kind of locator it is. I'm going to inspect the search field here. And uh, this is input class type is this title is written and the placeholder is also here. So I can use placeholder. You can use name also expat CSS, whatever you want to create. But for the placeholder, we have this particular method directly whatever the placeholder value is there, you enter it. And then after that, you, what you have to do, you simply write type sequentially, sorry, press sequentially method, you have to use it here, press sequentially. And if you read about the press sequentially, it says that you have to give me the text with a delay. So you can give a delay over here as an optional a parameter, you can pass it here. It says in most of the cases, you should use locator.fill instead of this. But if you are having very spatial keyboard handling on the page, then you can use press keys one by one if there is a spatial keyboard handling on the page, right? So what exactly it says that uh, if you read this particular documentation, it says if you really want to enter hello, it will enter hello instantly. It means it will type hello instantly without any delay. But if you really want to give a delay with, let's see, 100 milliseconds, it will type slower like a specific user. Simple. So we will see both first. So I'm writing, let's see, press sequentially. And then here I'm entering the value. A MacBook. So it will enter MacBook instantly without any delay. And then I'll show you with the delay also. So right click and then let's simply run it. Let's see how exactly it is working here. So browser is launched and then you will see that MacBook will be entered immediately like this. But now I want to give a specific pause here after each and every character. So what should I do in that case? I simply say that, okay, fine. I want to enter MacBook. And then as the one extra option parameter, we have to supply that you can supply that is a delay. And then what kind of delay? Let's see 500 milliseconds of delay after each and every character I want to apply here. Now let's see how exactly it is behaving. So it will enter M then 500 millisecond delay and then A and then so on. See A then C B O O K like this. It is entered. Nice. So you can use uh, this functionality, this particular feature in Playwright, same thing you can do in Selenium also with the actions pause, we can do that. But here, one line statement, press sequentially method that you have to use it here. These kind of scenarios will be helpful when you have search related, suggestion related uh, options are coming and then the drop down when you enter something sometimes and then number of suggestions are coming in the drop down. That time you can, uh, special keyboard handling, you can do it with this particular method here. That's all for this video. Remember this concept. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.